We got the snowman here. This is a Chevy Tahoe that I built a year and change ago. How long ago, Josh? It's been a while now. Yeah, it's been a good little minute. This one is uh, all PRV, of course. Six 12 inch mid base, 12 MB 1000 FT, 1000 watts RMS. You've got those on a 6000 watt PRV SQM. Right up front, you got two inch drivers. This is the D 2200 PH. This is one of the cheapest two inch drivers that PRV makes with the WG 1450 waveguide and the TW 700 TI tweeters. You got a 3K on these six drivers and a 3K on these six tweeters to have enough power to be able to turn up without distortion. In the back is the 3220TIND. This is a real strong two inch compression driver, neodymium magnet, so it's smaller, compact, very powerful. I believe we got a 3K on these as well, or is it 1400? 14. Okay, so we got a 1400 two ohms on those. They only get a little bit less power, about 375 watts each on these and 350 on these in the back. Up top, we've got the horn boxes with the 8MR600X, the, the most powerful eight inch that you can get from PRV. Those are on uh, 3K as well, Timpano 3000. So these are on the PRV SQ amp. The rest of this stuff is on the Timpano amplifiers, uh, made by Stetson, good quality amps, good power. Today we're gonna do a little bit of upgrade. We've got six drivers now, we're gonna add six more. So we're gonna make a new plate. This was originally a CNC cut uh, from my 3D design. We're gonna make a whole new plate. We're just gonna copy it with the router. So we're gonna add three more drivers on this side and three more on this side with another 3K to give a little more mid-range vocals to pair up with this uh, strong mid bass that's going on in the back wall. Let's look at the inside real quick. Check them out on Instagram at snowman underscore PRV. You got all the doors done on this. I didn't build the doors. I just did the back wall, but the doors are pretty nice. 10 MR 650A, 10 inch mid-range speakers. The Tiffano DH2000 drivers and a TW700 TI tweeter for the highs. Same thing in the back. For the base inside, got two Tiffano 15 inch 3500 series 15s in a fourth order. Kind of hard to see, and there's a little dark. On the 15s is a SQ9000X. This is the 6000 watt um, one ohm on the 612s in the back. This is actually a 15th anniversary. Let's put the seat up. We can see the see the amps in the back there. This is going away, by the way. We're taking this thing out. If somebody want to buy it, let me know. <laughs> they don't have no place in this build. Um, so here, here we got a whole bunch of Timpano 3Ks, a whole row of them for the drivers and tweeters and some of the speakers, but we're gonna put a, another 6K on the 10s on the front doors. That's gonna go here so we can get more power to those 10s. But right now we're gonna focus on this here and I'll show y'all how I do it. We gotta take all this out because we gotta take this whole bracket off and copy with the router. We're just gonna pop these drivers out. This driver is good because it's, it's no bigger than that hole. So you can take the whole thing out without disassembling it. That's why the Neodymium 3220 is better than the, the regular version because it's much bigger. You actually need to take it apart to take it out. This one goes in and out, no problem. are soldered in the connections I always solder the 
on these tweezers so that it doesn't ever come off. I don't like to use connectors on anything to be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these up and then I'll get the solder and iron fired up so we can undo the connections. This truck has been together, like I said, over a year, year and a half, something like that. He's never burnt one tweeter, never burnt one driver, never burnt any of these 12s. And uh, he goes out there and lets this thing play. Uh, we burned the eights one time, but that was a tuning issue. We got it tuned in now. Uh, we reconed them here for him. So this truck, uh, this system has been extremely reliable. Heat up the terminal, that thing just pops right off. If you take this out, you got these tweeters together, pull one out a little bit. The other one will spin and get to the other side to solder it. got all the drivers and tweeters out I'm gonna take this bracket off it's held on kind of like that and then it's bolted in the front with a support on the bottom holding the bottom of the driver what we got to do now is test these to make sure everything is working uh, just so that we don't have any trouble later put the multimeter in continuity mode with the with the audible go ahead Sophia it's already on the right mode just test them Doesn't matter which lead you put it on, just put one on the positive, one on the negative. Turn it like this, you got one terminal on each side. Touch them together. When you hear the beep, the voice coil is good. Go ahead and test all these tweeters and drivers. Now these tweeters come with a capacitor, if you notice, I take them off. When you're using a DSP, using the right frequencies, you don't really need it. Like I said, these have been in this truck uh, since uh, October of uh, 2021, and they're still good. Test all these drivers too, please, Sophia. You can turn them upside down. You can turn them up, and it's the same thing. I put one on each terminal. Okay, go ahead and test them all. So we're going with the same driver that's in there now. Uh, there's already six of them, and we're adding six more. Again, it's the, the D2200PH Trio, 100 watts RMS, 200 watts program power. Two inch exit. And the waveguide, the same as the other one. The uh, WGP 1450 chrome silver, 45 degrees, 2 inch bolt on. This is made in Brazil. It's the chrome silver. You can see the metallic on there. It's the same as the other one, so they're all going to be matching all 12 drivers. And I got Sophia over here working on putting the horn on the driver. Tell me the steps, Sophia, what goes first? Um, these go first and then you put the horn on it. And okay. Then you put the bolt and then you put these and then put the bolts on. Okay, so you put the washer and then the nut first. So once you got all the studs on there, that goes on like that. You you got to have this with the driver. You can't use the driver without the waveguide. Uh, the sound just goes everywhere. This kind of 
guides the sound waves uh, when it comes out of the driver and, and creates pressure inside here. Sophia has done this many times. Just use this one's already open. Sophia, try to do me a favor too. Look, see the PRV logo? Yeah. That's gonna go up. So you wanna make sure kind of that the terminals are like side to side. So you wanna put it like that. Okay, kind of just like that. So that it's easier to put the terminals on, the wires on the terminals rather. All right, while Sophia's doing that, let's get the plaque off that thing over there and get cutting. Just gonna loosen these up. These I already got loose. Put everything right here if you want to lose it. It's a good way to lose something. Been on here a long time. Gotta kind of come off straight or it gets stuck. There it goes. So here we have the driver and feeder baffle from the snowman, the famous baffle everybody knows. As you can see, it's, it's just, uh, three separate pieces, okay? This piece in the back is, is one piece, and then I have extra support for the drivers here. So I need to copy this piece and then make another loop for these three on the other side, the both sides actually. So I'm gonna try to separate these. Now they're glued and they're, they're with, they got brad nails in there. So I'm gonna do my best to separate it and I might have to sand it down so that I can copy it uh, with the router onto another piece. All right, we're gonna clamp this down so it doesn't move and we're trying to separate these pieces. It's not too great, man. Better than being loose. This piece didn't survive. That's okay, we'll just make new ones, but uh, at least I got it off. And then what I'll do is I'll scrape it until it's smooth, I'll sand it. You can see here it came off clean, but you can see how it, the glue is with holding it on there. Um, but I'll just sand this down so it's smooth, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then I have, I have a, a template that I can copy, and then we'll just, we can copy these two. And we'll just make new ones. All right, so I got those pieces off the other side because I needed it to be somewhat flat so that I can run the router on it with the piece underneath. And uh, this is basically how it's gonna be. So now you have three, six, nine, 12 drivers with the six tweeters, but I'm gonna make one piece. All right, so this together is gonna be 40, about 42 and a half wide by 21 and a half is a little less, um, but that's the size we're gonna cut. So let me get the wood here. Bro. This piece is unfortunately not wide enough for the width, so we gotta do it this way. We 
going to screw this down. And we'll go ahead and run the router over it to get the new piece. I got everything traced out on this side of the board. On this side, I got the pieces screwed down. Uh, the trim bed I have actually will ride on the bottom and cut the top piece. So I traced it so that I know where I'm going, where to get the holes at. So let's get this routed out. routed out came out the end there perfect now we just take the pieces off the back and we send it on its way I was gonna try to just add these but I wanted to have the strength of the one piece and I think it actually work out because I'll use I'll just leave this piece on here on the back uh, there's a double baffle I'll just cut out the pieces for the tweeter so I can be able to solder the wires on there They thought it was loud before, Josh. <laughs> oh man, what's that? 12, 16 drivers, right? Got the piece all together, sealed it, coat of paint, let it dry, and then we're gonna put it in. Came out damn good. We got the baffle bolted in place, nice and strong. Now we go ahead and put these drivers and tweeters back in and we're ready to run.
So that's it. It's all buttoned up, installed. From six to 12, two inch pH drivers. We got left now. They're on two separate amps, one 3K and another 3K. So we're going to gain mash the amplifiers so that they play exactly the same. I'm gonna get inside and get that done. We'll be here on a DSP. We're gonna set the crossover on the new drivers the same as the other ones. We're gonna go from 800, 4500. We might change that later, but that's what we're gonna go with for right now. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna game match the amp. We got the tone generator set to come on. We gotta check AC voltage on the output of the amplifier. We're gonna check the amp for the six drivers that were there originally, and we're gonna set the new amp for the new drivers, the exact same voltage on the output so that they play exactly the same. First we're going to put this on the output, positive and negative. Okay, now we're on the output. Get that right here, you can see that. We're going to turn on, there's going to be a lot of noise. Can you see the voltage? We're at 6.22. And now we're going to go on the other amp and set it to 6.22. We got it playing. Josh got to fix the RCA on this thing. Got some noise in the RCA. Okay, now we're gonna turn it on and test it. All right, Josh, work that knob when I tell you. We put this on the output of the amp. We can read the voltage. This is AC voltage, not DC. We hope DC is not coming out of the amp. If it is, it's going to fry all your voice coils. Go ahead, Josh. All right, we at 5.9. We're going to go up to 6.22. Or as close as we can get. Right there. 6.22. That's all we got for right now. If you want to see it playing, check out my Instagram at prvaudio underscore Tim. And uh, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Check back because I'm going to be doing a lot more build videos. Uh, I used to think, man, it's going to take too long to record a video. But there's really not that much time to hit the record button and, and, and talk a little bit about what I'm doing. So uh, if you want to learn something, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. What you think of the snowman, the Tahoe with six 12s, four eights, 12 PH drivers, six tweeters, four TI drivers in the stunt wall. Let me know. Thank you for watching.